Hi there. I recorded a video and it wouldn't go up, so maybe the reading wasn't for you guys after all, so. I'm here to do a reading for you today. <laughs> I'm still in my house, guys. God, angels. Cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. Ooh, they're jumpy today. Ask on the angels to cleanse these cards from all past readings. Cleanse and bless these cards from all past readings. What does the collective need to know? Okay. All in the golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. I don't know if I'm going to like this video recording or not. Mm. Sorry, those weren't for you. They weren't for anybody. brings you inspiration? What lights a fire under your ass? What do you imagine about? What are you birthing? Ooh. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Don't allow anger to rule you. It'll eat you alive. Anger is poison, poison for our bodies. When we're angry, we hold on to so much stuff and then prevents us from doing anything, you know? Because then when you get in that self-pity mode, enough's enough, right? Enough's enough. You got to take charge of your own life. Nobody can do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Everybody's going through all kinds of healing. And people need to realize that uh, it's not easy. It's not a joke. It's not funny. There are a lot of people that suffer with different ailments that you don't know about. They may look perfectly healthy, happy, wonderful. But you don't know they could be just got diagnosed with cancer or they or they've lost a family member that they are struggling to get over working through disbelief impossible things imaginative leaps and a fresh perspective and I'm sorry the first card that I called was a number one the second card was card 20, and this card is card 34. Oh. Use your time well. Make every moment count. Whatever that looks like for you today. There's no point keeping up with people, right? Do your own thing. Live your own life. Hmm. Don't we all? I want to be a queen. It's card 33. Stating your sovereignty. Declaring freedom. Passing a test. You're passing tests every day. Every day. Breaking boundaries. Making new things happen. You don't even know it. Because you're stuck in regret. You're stuck in the old ways. You gotta let the past go so that you can have a brighter future. Especially if your past is full of darkness and shit. We gotta move on. We just gotta move on. Because you're important. You're so important to people around you, you don't even realize it.
time, pressure, and in a rush. That was the, in the last reading, too. Maybe that's why it didn't work out for me. I don't know. I'm grateful you're here. Thank you. And all my mess and everything. Lead the way. Lead the way. I don't know why these cards are coming up backwards. It's just kind of ridiculous. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. So whatever blockages are preventing you from doing something, obviously this was meant to happen. So regardless of me being in my house coat or my hat, those were my own thoughts. Oh, I can't go online, blah, blah, blah. Screw it. Just do it. If you're a reader or if you're just starting or if you read for yourself, once you get past that first hump of actually going on camera and doing a reading, it's it gets easier. And after a bit, you're not going to watch so many tarot card readers because you're realizing you're getting the same downloads that they're getting. So you are a reader. You're empathic. You're intuitive. You're just as good as everybody else. We're all here fighting for the same cause, right? The earth, our lives, our self-worth, the love of the ourselves and the planet, and um, wanting others to succeed. I mean, who doesn't want to succeed? I don't know anybody that doesn't want to succeed. And then there's ones that are just so greedy, they just... They're never satisfied. So figure out what makes you satisfied and go from there. Because once you're satisfied, everything else is gravy. You won't have to work so hard. It'll just come. Just like that. You won't have to chase after people to buy your products or buy your this or listen to your music or whatever. If that's your true calling, they're going to come. You build it and they'll come. Never doubt that. As long as you have your love and passion behind whatever you're into. If, if you're just doing it just for the sake of, oh, money, 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 money. Yeah, money is energy. But the way it's gotten, if it's gotten, you know, in an underhanded way, that's not the right way how money is supposed to be used. It's energy. It's abundant. It's out there. Everything you need will come to you at the right time if you believe in it and you stick to your goals. Belong to your own dream. It's card 32. Create your own life. Create your own life. Don't even pay attention to the words on the background. It's backwards. So, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for your subscriptions and your kind words. It really does help. I'm just not used to positive feedback. So when I get positive feedback, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I think they're just blowing smoke up my ass. I don't want to think like that. I want to believe I'm a good person too. And that people do benefit from what I have to say. It's easy to get sucked into the, the lower vibe, right? That's where they want us to be constantly. Second guessing ourselves. Stop second, second guessing yourself. Teeth or no teeth. You're still a soul. You're still a spirit. It's just a meat suit, you know, but you got to love it. I love my body and I've never loved my body because of my past. So screw the past. No more. I'm done living in the fucking past, man. It's had my life for 50 years. I had shit started on me when I was at nine months of age. Basically, conception, because my mom wasn't married. My mom got pregnant out of wedlock. My mom was a free spirit. She did what she wanted when she wanted. When she was old enough. And she was an adult. She made her own choices. So she made her bed and she had to lie in it. Whatever that was. We all make mistakes. I can remember my mom saying to me. 
I was like, I think I was eight. And that's when everything really took off. She said to me, Karen, some women are meant to be mothers and some women are not. And she said, I am not meant to be a mother. My mom was my best friend. I would call my mom. We would call each other. She would call me. I would call her. She was the one person that knew what I was talking about and that I wasn't crazy. But she shielded me from other people from knowing because for some reason she was embarrassed. I don't know. Or maybe that was just her way of protecting me. But she didn't protect me. It's fucked up. I've been trying to figure it out. And I'm, I'm just tired of asking why. So here I am. In all my glory. Whatever that looks like. So do you. Come out with all your glory. You know. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the angels, the archangels, your ancestors. They're all there for you. At any time. They're never busy. They have, there's millions of angels out there. Your passed over loved ones, you know, the little air that you feel at your feet. It's a passed over pet. You feel things on your hair, you know, that's your family. If it's gentle and caring and love, you feel love, then it's a good spirit. If you're feeling bad stuff, then there's a problem. Do a spiritual cleanse. 